G'day, g'day. Welcome to a 1v1 against Hansi on the map called Deb. This game in particular turned out to be a very close game, or a very tough game. So I want to really sit down and analyse for well, some of my benefit on what exactly happened in this game, because it was going way too fast for me to to get in full detail of what actually happened. Um, I do have a fair detail of the reason certain things happened, such as I think USA are quite risky to go, and they're dependent on certain units. But anyway, let's just get to the game, and I'll s I'd like to yeah, I'd like to see what actually happened. So going down with a regular squad, uh, I actually wanted to move it down to the center point of the sandbags, but because I selected my guy, previous guy, or well, the next guy too fast to move to the right, he actually thought I was moving the regular squad. So this is a bug in Man of War or a shit feature where you can't click things too fast, otherwise it thinks you're moving the unit you had selected previously, which is full of crap. But anyway, I've kind of decided to go between the center and eastern points, just played along with that uh, moment, so I could shoot down on both flags. But I can't really shoot down at the center, as you can see, it's got a bit of a heel, so some of my guys can't shoot at all. And for some reason it's a bit laggy too. My MG decides to go down for no reason. And I didn't even move it down there, as you can see. Uh, one of the frust most frustrating things in Meta War is that queuing thing where the units move where you don't want them to move. <laughs> so I'm going to just try to flank the center in between the eastern. I don't even have the eastern point. But now I'm just going to try to flank the center with a mistime grenade. So I think what went wrong in this opening, in fact, was for one, my unit's not going where I wanted to go. But that, that caused my squads not to really shoot. And this is what USA's advantage is, they need to shoot to win, because they got the M1 Garands, and they got the better guns, overall Thompson's better than the MP40. M1 is hugely better than all um, German's grenade, so German's rifles, or German weaponry, because M1 Garand rifles are superior, you can really beat any, anything in this one, so, uh, nice grenade. So I got the position wrong, for one I think, and also, yeah. And that caused my UK US advantage not to be any good shooting. So that's what happened, I think. And Hans is because of the I got the regular squad. Another problem with that is, is Hans has got the second squad straight away, much quicker than me, because he's got 110 MP assault squads. I had a regular squad, 150 MP, and I had to wait for my assault squad, or if I wanted to go a regular squad even longer, and my assault squad is 115 MP, so it's more expensive than his too. And in a shootout, I prefer the German Assault Squad because of the SDG-44. So two reasons why I am lagging behind as USA, because it's cheaper for them to spam the Assault Squad. And secondly, I didn't shoot, use my M1 Garands effectively. Effectively, They really need to be effective. Um, in hindsight, hmm, I think Assault Squad plus single M1 Garands would be a better choice. Uh, 150 MP for the BR, and it didn't do anything in that game. Even if it did, I don't think it would have done the MP damage that it's worth. So 115 MP for Assault Squad, I'll take the 5 MP hit compared to the Germans, and get the MP around. So I went the quick half track, not exactly that quick because this is the third buy, and I could actually hear a looks down the road, so I did want to try to get close to it to go 50 50 play, and no, it didn't work. So I tried to, I didn't see it, I knew it was close, I was hoping that I would be close enough to penetrate, but it appeared just a bit too far away. So now he's, he's got my units out in the open. So the reason why he couldn't get a look before me, because obviously he didn't lose many units at all compared to me. And uh, now he's even pushing up his advantage because I lost the regular squad, the assault squad, plus um, the half track. So I've got decent paybacks, I'm waiting to see the payback on the right, um, 1.5 per second, the yellow MP bar. So I'm waiting for that to tick up a bit before I buy anything else. Maybe go to it straight away, and just encouraging Hansi not to quit. <laughs> because of the last few games I've played, um, he hasn't won against me for a long time. So that's the reason it's hard to um, keep motivated. <laughs> Um, they're coming, he's really pushing up his advantage, they're running away, putting his looks down the right way, so I can't shoot it in this angle, it's very awkward. 
I'm trying to chase it down, but I can't. And I have no infantry to really do anything with it. So I've got to back away now. Don't don't risk it. There's too many infantry over this area. So I'm waiting for my squad. So I'm going to now attack the eastern point instead, where I can have some line of sight and where I'm pretty safe because I know he won't be able to flank me from everywhere. So I'm going to keep my assault narrow because I don't have much. So that attack on the looks was a bit of a fail. Didn't get to get go. Didn't get to attack the looks at all. So now just trying to stop, stave off a three cap. I don't really care about the yellow flags now because I won't be able to take them. Just going to try to take one and hold this one for now. It's quite rare. rare. <laughs> in fact, I never have to do this in most games, but um, having to yeah slowly push back. I'm getting decent payback as you can see on the right. Um, the payback bar is almost complete. And the city cow squad is coming to the eastern point. And I'm going to push up slowly towards his left. So hopefully he doesn't have the MP for the P3. Uh, but uh, I didn't really expect that Panzer Strike waiting there. Um, yep. I just don't expect any AT infantry to just yeah take out units so easily um, in ambush before the Brandenburger comes, so I, I just didn't... Yeah, Deb's actually quite notorious for all these giant bushes where you can hide units in. And I guess that was a bit of a my bad. I didn't send my infantry ahead. And I did have the infantry, I was just a bit eager to attack back. So I was just trying to get to the top of this sandbag before his squad's good, but he got there at the same time, so... Uh, yeah, just exchanging exchanging kills. So at least I've stopped the three cap which gives me some time for you new players out there. Three cap does mean kind of mean death because the points start ticking down rapidly. It's basically uh, one point every two seconds. So you're gonna grenade those bastards and also just try and stop it again. So I can't really do much that looks on the field and he's trying to pressure some more in the backfield. And that's one hit for three marines almost, that's devastating. So he's really got me with my pants down, he's killed my two counters, my half track, to counter his infantry. So I'm going desperation here, I've got a Greyhound, just a quick buy. So this is not a counter buy, this is a risky counter. I have to stay at maximum range, because he can take me out at his maximum range too. So this is a quick one, and I'm going to use this Greyhound as well. Because of the 50 cows, it can push decently, so I'm going to use it straight after this to come up and take out his um, infantry guarding that point, but it's stuck, so I have to go into DC. Uh, a bit frustrating. So I know the Brandenburg is out, I'm quite wary of them, weary of them, and I can see one there, so I'm pushing up around, and I don't think he has Brandenburgers all the way there by now, it's going it's to take a while, it's going to be probably a bit further away from the eastern point, so I'm quite safe with the ground, I think. And SMG here could have been devastating. He puts an SMG there, handy. bloody hell. Could have been devastating. It's going to take him out. So just stopping the three cap once again. I'm filling the gaps. His looks is down. He probably has MP for a tank now. So I'm thinking either I can go down the center through the riverway, or I may need a camp at the top of the hill. So I can... Because if you... There's a hill there, and I can camp at the bottom of that hill. And I've sent a a few rifles on the side just to make sure he doesn't get all the way to my spawn. So I'm just doing that again, setting a squad there because I know it's going to sneak some guys to my spawn. So playing very defensive at the moment, um, trying to counter his units. And I'm going to sit my Greyhound just below that hill to preempt some sort of assault of his tank to counter me because his tank won't be able to, won't probably won't dare to come close to my Greyhound. So I see now a P3 in the distance, so wet. Getting a croc. And it is quite risky because over in the center point there's a big gap in line of sight. And then do you need to fill that gap quickly? So I'm not sure if Hansi has guys in there. So he's sending his P3 back, I think after he's seen my croc. Um, so I'm just trying to send my squad to just clean up 
but I think he may have a guy behind behind me earlier. He moved the guy earlier. So now I'm coming up with a half track to the center point. Just to push up, use it as bait and also to just kill the Brannerbergers. Because I'm thinking the half track will be able to get either kill the Brannerberger or take the hit for the crop. So I don't want the crop to die, I don't mind if the half track does. So it's time for a major push. Pansy has to do something with the Panzer 3, otherwise it's going to be useless. And just waiting on that P3. For some reason I couldn't control these units to, to go there, so... Not sure why it was laggy in this game, because we both got good pings to each other. So cleaning up the center, as you can see with this hub track. Doing a decent job and flanking the center with my other troops. Um, I saw his P3 hit a tree. I should have really controlled this a bit sooner. I needed some line of sight on the P3. And yeah, see, Greyhound did a great job. Let's see how effective uh, the half track can be. Just to use as little micro to a solar point, really. So P3 got me with my pants down. Should have had some line of sight in that area. And the croc, I'm going to try to take it out at the far range. I don't want to go too close to the bottom, otherwise he'd be able to get me. So a bit of a turnaround. I think I can turn this game around at this stage. And should be able to shoot down on both flags from here. Oh, they're actually burnt. Didn't know that. I was seeing another Greyhound just to clean up on the left. And that was a game changer. So <laughs> Panzerfaust, he must have snuck that in from some somewhere before I sent my squad off to scout and for some reason my guy didn't cap the flag so whoever was on the flag decided to move by himself frustrating and now he's got the P3 he's gonna assault with this infantry and it's gonna be a three cap again because my guys won't cap the center so I'm remaneuvering my infantry to face the new front and try to flank him Try to, sorry, try to attack the western point while I can. And really good positions here behind these sneaking guys everywhere. I just oh, didn't expect that. But I'm in a decent position with my ground in this riverway because that P3 can't attack me. He has to get pretty close. And I can 50-50 uh, play it. You can see how reliant the USA can be with um, the croc. If you play it the way I do. Uh, the croc is very, very tough. Gotta try to take out the main gun. And got it there, so that's a 50-50. Pretty, um, I guess, uh, anyone's game that time. Doesn't matter if you've got a bigger tank at close range, as you can see, in your place. That's why you should use terrain. Uh, I'm just trying to go back to the center with the Greyhound. I'm pretty sure he has money from another tank. He hasn't lost anything. Um, yeah, so reliant on the croc, I think. <laughs> you really gotta just watch out for the Brannerbergers. Um, because my croc did absolutely nothing that game. I probably shouldn't have. And my, I probably should have saved the other three points for another crop. Usually, I usually do that, but I made a mistake in buying a 30, a 30 cal squad. So just sending everything down the center. Brandenburgers in wait, you can see by Hansi. And another looks on the field, but uh, I'm going to stalk that bugger. So he's got an infantry killer, can't do much, just got to charge him. I know he doesn't have much infantry there, so I'm going to just try to wipe out everything. So he looks as that doesn't have line of sight. And you can see he's running away because he knows he doesn't have much line of sight in that area to do much. So that kind of prevented that charge. But that that's lucky that guy actually ran out of ammo. I think I actually take him out with that, uh, that infantryman. Yep, <laughs> so that marine took him out. 
So at this stage of the game, it's just oh, German, I guess the handy has had the advantage in terms of the counter, the, the things he's countered. But now I think we're both extremely low on MP. So I've got an M380 gun to counter his units like the looks. And while it's, while I'm waiting, I'm just gonna try AP snipe because there's nothing else it can do. Probably the best unit I can DC right now other than grenades. And I think he has no money for anything but a light tank anyway. So now it's turning out to be yeah an infantry only game for the rest of the game. Because no one has any money left. As you can see my MP stores are down and I'm pretty sure Hansi has nothing either. So the only money we, we kind of... Oh, actually I'm getting two, two, 2 MP per second as you can see. So it hasn't completely run out. I think it goes up to uh, 20. 20 minutes or so. 25 minutes actually. 25 minutes I think you still get MP. But the payback keeps going on and on. So eventually you should be able to get uh, get your full 3000 MP back with payback. So finally on the board, Hansi is pushing up nicely with his little sandbag on the left. He likes to do those little sandbags and has, has a staging platform to attack. So try a two-pronged attack him on both areas, both sides, and also attacking the eastern point. But uh, he's got a reinforcement um, squad coming straight away. Having trouble maneuvering. And yeah, this one guy, I just couldn't couldn't control these guys. Look at that. Just can't control them. Just, just run into the SMG, lost four guys to that one guy. Um, and at this stage of the game, that really matters. That these two guys on the right doing well. So I've got M3 to counter that look, so he's got a looks in the field. He probably should have got a flak maybe, or oh I'm not too sure. That I think what he got was okay. He moved it correctly. So infantry versus infantry like the start now. Extremely close game. Looks is maneuvered around to the left hand side. And I try to chase it, which I don't think I can even take it out. There's a big hill there if you can't see it. And I don't think I can shoot down. I was a bit desperate, so I was gonna go for it. I probably should have sent it. I'm not sure where. I probably should have just left it there. And left the left hand side. Cause I can't actually shoot it from here. That's actually a decline as well. The whole the whole left side is actually sloping downwards. So I can't and where that looks is it's down the hill. So I can't actually hit it. It's going all going too fast and so I can respond. Just gotta get away from that grenade. I'm trying to stay into it. So avoiding my gun, coming to the other side. I can't do much about that anymore, so I'm going to focus on this flag. Got some marines on that center sandbag to attack or shoot as eastern. They look like they're getting pinned down quite well. So I'll send this other squad up to mop up. Don't be wary of that SMG on the side. And looks it's coming closer to the center. I've got lots of troops here. I need to protect them quickly. Just going to try to take a shot with a, a shot at it. I think I've got the sandbags in the way now. Got to get closer. So I've lost a decent amount of troops, so that looks not <laughs> kind of to the sandbag. Just uh, never mind. Just AT grenaded instead. Uh, get the hell out of there. Uh, now I can get the left flag, hopefully. Take out the remainder of those forces. And try assault the left again because that looks is no longer there. Just keep on the pressure. And Hansi says GG when in fact uh, it's no way a GG to him. I think he's losing now. Oh, that could have been a juicy if that MG was firing at the other place. There were so many people to kill. Oh, that grenade absorbed my entire grenade. 
It's a little bit frustrating now. He's got uh, me on the ropes on that flag. My M380 gun is in a horrible position. It can't do shit. It's stuck. Can't even shoot at anything. I'm desperately trying to get one flag. It ended up, ended up being all lower tier. It was a long, pretty long game, close one, but just the pressure is just so constant in this game. I couldn't do much. Yep, <laughs> goes my M3. And half track was my only last option because I couldn't really kill anything in my opinion. He had too many infantry around. So I was just going to go half track, try mop up, see what happens. And I got a grenade crash. So good game. Um, I wouldn't have come back from that anyway. So <laughs> I'll give that hand, that's Hansi's win even though I got a grenade crash.